Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your monthly love reading for what does your person, your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you wanna know about, what do they secretly wanna tell you for November? So this is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. Oh my goodness, I see love and family. Okay, so far so good. Cross our fingers. All right, so my darlings, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below, or you can do both. So, and also the Eye of Zen is up on Amazon.com. The information is in the description box below. If you're interested in a personal reading for November, hit me up at JenniferWalkerZen.com. And if you're interested in a free reading, then all the information will be at the end of this video for a free reading contest that we got going on right now. All right, so let's jump right in here in Cancer. All right. So, what is my Cancer's love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What does Cancer's love interest secretly want to tell Cancer's for November? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What we're going to do here, Cancer, is we're going to do a nine card spread of what they secretly want to tell you, and then we're going to do a three card spread about what is the potential outcome of this connection, okay? And you guys can also check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. This person has a sense of fascination towards you. Uh, they don't want to keep going round and round and round. They want some big changes here, but they do feel like there's a lot of people looking at them. There's like a lot of eyes on them. And they do feel like there's something very magical and chanting about this connection. Very interesting. Okay. This person does feel that you make them very happy, but they're hiding that from you. Okay. They're not letting you know the amount of joy that you give them. Okay. So, okay. So now uh, going into the cards themselves. All right. So two of wands energy shows me that this person has been debating a choice here. That's what they want you to know. And, uh, if you can see this person has a world in their hands so i feel like they've been like all right for me that's almost like the ace of pentacles energy like oh my god i need to make a choice about what's going to happen with this some of you are dealing with a long distance relationship because obviously the world can represent right obviously something long distance something far away right so i feel like this person has this sense of you know looking at the stars and trying to be hopeful about the potential and trying to make a choice about this connection they've been very patient here um, because they are like you know what i just really need to invest time in this you know i need to let this grow i need to see what happens here and you really make this person very happy they feel lucky to have you in their life okay so with that sun card energy cancer I want to get more information. I'm going to also use the old style Lenormand here for more information. So let's find out more information here, Cancer. What does Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to talk about, what does Cancer's love interest secretly want to tell Cancer? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. And after this, guys, let me make sure I lay down our three cards here as well for this potential overall outcome here. So, all right. So we got the mice card energy, okay? We have the tree card energy and we have the anchor card energy. Okay, so this person really does stress and they have anxiety here because of the time that they put into this with that, that tree card energy because trees take a long time to grow. And this is giving them a little bit of a stuck energy. They want something stable here, okay? Anchor can talk about stable connection. They feel like anxious too as well. Anxious like in a good way because I feel like with the two of wands, they, this is what's been making them feel like they need to make some kind of choice about this and like being patient here. Um, okay, so continuing going further here. Ace of Cups tells me that this person has love for you, okay? They really truly love you and they're fascinated by you. You do some amazing things um, for them and they're just like, wow, okay, I wasn't expecting that, okay? That's what I get from this card. It's like, hey, what the heck, okay? But you know, it's like a very happy energy, like, oh, this is a nice unexpected thing here, this, this change here. And uh, they feel there's an intimate connection here, okay? And then the Page of Cups is, they want to send you a message of love here. They want to send you good news about this love. And this Two of Swords is like, you're kind of going back and forth in it. They're trying to like block it out, but they keep going in their thoughts. Like 
uh, it keeps like bothering them like oh god okay what should I do here I don't know what to do here so this person really wants to just tell you how much they love you and that they want this this true love they want to send this good news of love but they're kind of like blocking it out blocking their thoughts out of like what to do here and like they're like maybe I should focus on this other thing over here I need to stop thinking about this yeah there you go this bouquet talks about attraction this bouquet talks about they want to invite you okay for some kind of romantic getaway there with the moon card energy so because the bouquet can talk about an invitation okay an invitation to some some sense of a romance here with the moon card energy a romantic invitation because page of cups talks about message of love and this opportunity of true love and then let's see mm -hmm. and they're at a crossroads you know they want to invite you to some somewhere romantic where they want an invitation that's romantic mm-hmm or this attraction is very um they have a lot of feelings around it they want to be successful that's the moon card energy as well but they they feel like there needs to be a choice they're at a crossroads here when it comes to stability and stableness let's see what the moon card is the moon is here romance stressing about the stuck energy stressing about stability and stableness and their happiness oh my goodness okay let's keep going here cancer okay so i'm going to use the eye as n now to get more information about this connection. Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about. What does Cancer's love interest secretly want to tell Cancer? November, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And also if we look at the numbers, this person is doing a lot of thinking here about some changes here and wanting to put the work or effort into this. They wanna fulfill their desires. They want some kind of change because they want something stable here. Okay, look at this. They're gonna make a decision very soon that they're stressing about. Mm -hmm. They may be talking to friends about the situation because of the fact that they've been allowing some time to grow here. What did I say? They, they want a happy outcome here with you. They, 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 they feel so happy to be around you. The friends card also could talk about like the three of cups energy. You give them a sense of joy. They love being around you, hanging out with you, okay? This person is defensive here. They don't wanna get hurt, okay? And for them, they're like waiting for some kind of breakthrough here when it comes to a message of love and this romance with the moon card energy, okay? And yeah, so they're at a crossroads like, oh my God, what should I do? I'm so confused, Cancer, I don't know, okay? So let's look at the bottom of the deck here to get more information. Oh my God, they're obsessed. Double card energy is coming out. Okay, so they have strong desires, strong attachments to you, Cancer, and even the next card is like, yeah, they want some kind of huge opportunity of a long-term commitment there with the Ace of Pentacles energy. Yep, and Page of Pentacles again. They're looking for some kind of long-term commitment there. Let's keep going. Three of Cups again is coming out. Now, friends could be infringing upon the connection when it comes to this choice and their decision, or they be, can maybe talking to friends about it, or maybe they feel like you're talking to your friends about it, which also is, or you guys could be friends, okay? So we see this friends and then like feeling like all the eyes are on them, like all these people are looking at them. Oh my God, okay. So let's keep going. We have a person card coming out. What do I say about the person card? It could be you, it could be the love connection, okay. And we see that it's like, all right, I need things to come into balance here. Okay, so there's a lack of balance here because of these friends and there's stress again about lack of control here with the bear card energy or strength or courage because they miss you so much, Cancer. And then we see the King of Swords energy. So it's like, they want to say and do all the right things. That's what they are trying to tell you. They're like, I'm gonna do and say all the right things because I don't want something to end here because I'm trying to be hopeful that we can have a positive outcome here. So going further, they're going to make a decision to bring things to balance. They're hoping for a positive outcome. They're hoping for luck to be on their side. They want a sense of happiness around this connection. The friends here is what's making them defensive about getting hurt and they're missing you and they're so confused here and they're looking for a breakthrough. They're looking for some huge change here and they don't want to be shocked about the situation. Okay, going further, let's go down another layer here. Okay, so there seems to be stress here about this because of a long time and some kind of stuck energy and this attraction and romance and some kind of choice about a person and lacking that strength or courage to end, stop, or complete something with the coffin card energy. So going further on this, Cancer, going down another layer here, 
They want to tell you that they want to make some kind of choice to wait here, to be patient for the sense of happiness because they have this true love for you and they want this message of love or they want to send you a message of love but they're indecisive about it uh, because of friendship or friends and they feel like a lot of eyes are on them, they're stressing about this and they're just like, all right, well, you know what? I need to use my logic here and be wise in my decision making and play politics here with the King of Swords energy. All right, so let me move this out of the way and now let's see what the potential outcome here is between you and this person. Okay, here we go. So the first card is strength. So we see the potential outcome is the strength or courage and confidence when it comes to love. So it looks like someone gets enough courage and strength here because of love and it brings in an opportunity here. Okay, so the next card is the King of Wands. So it's like, I'm gonna march in the beat of my own drum and I'm gonna go for what I feel passionate about. So someone takes a leadership role, whether you or the other person, Cancer, Scorpio, excuse me, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And let's see what that's about. Yep, because there's a lot of emotions here. Yep, emotions and love. And then let's go to the next card. Yep, it seems like things are gonna turn in your favor. There's divine timing here and it, things are gonna start to line up here because of these emotions and this passion here. So things are heating up. Things are about to eat up here with you and this person. Okay, so let's go to the third card. Three of wands. And then we see this waiting for the just the right opportunity the right moment here because some delays happen and then we see someone's going to be like all right i need to use my intuition so so it's like this courage and strength happens and some things start to heat up and then and then there's then again there's some waiting here because of some delays here uh, because of something to do with traditional relationships traditional values something spiritual maybe spiritual advice or someone wants to use their intuition to overcome these challenges and delays here and waiting for the best opportunity here so things are going to happen here okay there is an opportunity here for things to turn in your favor and it's like you're going to have to use your intuition there is love here and a lot of emotions at play but there's still going to be a little bit of delays here because of this waiting here okay and maybe to gain knowledge or because of something spiritual or because of someone who wants to use their intuition to wait for the best opportunity. But we do see it's that courage and strength because there's love and an opportunity and the sense of passion and chemistry around this and a lot of emotions at play. All right, my beautiful Cancers, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in another day or two with our true feelings. And then we're gonna do your weekly, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your month and I will see you guys another day or two. For the free reading contest, all you have to do is put twin flames in the comments below, picking two people for a free personal reading. Also, um, for the readings, they're up and available to watch right now. If you're wondering who your soulmate is, the reading is up and available for you guys to watch right now. If you're wondering why they ghosted you, that reading is up and available for you guys to watch right now. If you want to know about what's going on in love, career and finance, and health and wellness, that reading is up and available for you guys to watch right now. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Have a great rest of your month, and I'll see you soon. Love you guys.